Hey guys, hope you are doing well. As you can see from the title of the video, today's video will be 20 facts about me. I did a similar video two years ago, but I thought that two years later it could be appropriate to make an updated version. So I have 20 facts that I haven't told in the previous video. So without any further ado, let's dive into the facts. My horoscope sign or star sign is Aquarius, but that really does not fit my personality. I'm not at all like an Aquarius. My last name, Nuti, is really rare and actually only my family has it in the whole Finland and I think in the whole world too. I am the oldest sibling and you can definitely see that from the way I am since I'm very responsible and I feel like I used to be always taking the blame for everything. <laughs> so I have one little sister and you can actually find us on TikTok now. We have a joint account there at sisters.af. So if you happen to have a TikTok, go check it out. My favorite fruit is apples, but I'm allergic to them because when I was six years old, I ate so many of my grandma's apples that I got an allergic reaction at the end. And ever since then, I've been allergic to apples and it's very tragic because I love them and I still eat them sometimes, although I get some symptoms, but I can't help myself. <laughs> Believe it or not, but one of my dream occupations is actually to be a police. I would especially want to be riding police or horse police. I don't know what it is about being a police, but I have for many, many, many years had it in the back of my head. Like, hmm. And this has created very divided opinions among my friends. Some laugh straight at my face when I <laughs> tell them and some are like, yeah, you would be a really good police. So who knows, maybe one day I will go to school to become a police. I'm very lucky to have only broken one bone ever. And that was my little toe on my right foot when a horse stepped on it. The horse weighed like 500 kilos, I think, so it hurt a lot. My whole foot became all blue and swollen and I couldn't walk for some days. I never went to the doctor. Maybe I should have gone because now my toe is a bit crooked, but sometimes you end up getting some injuries when you deal with horses. One of the funniest childhood memories I have is when my little sister had just been born and I was like three years old when this happened and I was jealous and I wanted to get attention and I was wearing these super cool heels that I got from my neighbor who was a few years older than me. They were like, I don't know, maybe five centimeters uh, heel and they had I think oranges and they were really really cool but then my mom and my grandma would only be occupied with my little sister so I peed on myself to get attention and obviously I was wearing the shoes so I peed on the shoes and then my mom got super mad and she threw the shoes away and I remember I was so sad and crying and only many years later I found out that my mom actually could have just washed the shoes and I still could have had them but that was my punishment for seeking attention. Still missing those shoes. I have known my best friend for almost 16 years. That's crazy. The second day of primary school, we became best friends. When we went to get our reading books, I think, and I had this really cool headband, red one with white dots, and she thought that it was so cool. And this was maybe on third grade. We made a best friend song that we composed and made the lyrics to ourselves and 
it went somehow like this. This is in Finnish though. Please excuse my singing. You and me, me all on this thing see. Ilman sua ei ois mua, eikä mua ilman sua. Meitä erottaa ei voi, ei koskaan. Ystävästä voimaa saa, se mua jaksaa kuljettaa. Elämässä eteenpäin aina vaan. This is obviously a duet, so now I was singing both parts, but I actually think it's kind of a cool song considering that we made it ourselves. I'm practically addicted to chewing gum. I eat chewing gums so much. And my record is having 18 gums in my mouth at once. Would not recommend to do that, that's just wasting good gums and also like there's no satisfaction in it because you can barely even like chew but I had this thing where I would always take as many gums as my age was and I was nine at a time but then I chose to take twice my age so 18 but so I'm always the girl you can count on to have gum with her <laughs> so very popular, especially after eating. <laughs> My life motto is quod potes it tempta. That is in Latin and it basically means that one should strive for what one is capable of. I think the message is really good, so I even have it tattooed <laughs> on my body to remind me every day of striving for what I'm capable of, basically. Something that really triggers me, I don't get annoyed easily, I'm very sort of mild person, but something that really triggers me every time is when people walk on the wrong side of the sidewalk. So they walk on the left and not on the right. And especially triggering is when people walk on the right side and they see you and they switch to the wrong side to go past you. That gets me so irritated and unfortunately people in Sweden do that a lot. I don't know what it is but they really do not follow those rules of walking on the right side of the pavement. So then when I go back home I'm used to people not following the rules so then I just automatically go to the wrong side so then I'm being the annoying person who doesn't know how to walk right. My scariest travel moment happened four years ago I think when we were flying back home from Copenhagen and when the plane was taking off a lightning hit the plane just where I was sitting basically. I was sitting next to the window and there was just this rumbling noise and the lights were flickering and there was no information, nothing. Most people didn't realize what happened and everyone was just like, oh, what's going on? Why is the plane rumbling? I was so scared because I've been watching way too much air crash investigation and I was just like, it's over, it's over. And there was fog and clouds and you couldn't see anything. And then after maybe half an hour the captain was like yes a lightning hit the plane but everything is good and we continue towards our destination. But that was so scary. I literally thought the plane is gonna it's gonna crash and we're gonna die. Not fun. One time when I had just received my driver's license for maybe like a month ago, I crashed our car <laughs> to a relatively known actor's car. At first I did not know it was his car, I just crashed into a car. I backed into the car and I started crying so much and I got into a total panic and I called my mom because I could not move the car forward anymore and then finally I managed to move forward and then I parked the car 
I ran into my music school because I was attending a concert where I would perform and I told my teacher the situation why I looked like I had been crying so much then my dad called me and told me to go get pictures of the car so that we know how the damage was so I ran back and I took photos of the car and then somebody yelled at me like hey why are you taking pictures of the car and I looked up and it was the actor and I was like I'm sorry I backed into your car um, so I was just taking pictures of the damage and if you want money from me or anything I will leave my number so that you can contact me and he was very nice he was very chill he was like no worries so then I went back to the music school and then when it was my turn to perform my teacher was like hey next up we have Ada performing and she was just in her first car crash and I was like what a way to introduce my performance and I remember the performance didn't go super well because I was still kind of shook and <laughs> in hindsight it's a really funny memory but at the moment it was not fun at all. My worst habit is biting and mistreating my nails. I've been doing that since I was probably six years old and I just can't seem to get rid of it. Now my nails are pretty nice and I'm able to grow them every once in a while and ma maintain them for some weeks but then just relapse it's annoying because first of all it looks horrible and second it actually hurts when you go too far so I really don't get why I'm doing it but it is basically an addiction I guess I have never seen Titanic I've been on the cover of and I've had a full page text written about me uh, twice Finland's I think second biggest newspaper and I've also been interviewed for a radio show here in Stockholm 15 minutes of fame times three my childhood nickname was Abeli Pelikani which basically means Abeli is just like a boy's name and pelican like the bird yeah I've had one cosmetic surgery I guess you could say done to me that was last summer when I had my eyes operated I did this laser surgery for my eyes so I no longer need glasses or contact lenses it's so much easier not having to deal with wearing glasses and taking care of cleaning your contact lenses and not going to bed with them so if any of you out there are having bad sight and have been thinking about the surgery even though it is expensive I would 100% recommend doing it when I was younger I was really good at imitating different voices my specialties were I see from the Wings Club and then a singer from one season of Idols in Finland. Nowadays I haven't really been practicing this hidden talent so I'm not sure if I am even good anymore in it but I used to impress people with my skills. That's it you guys that was updated 20 facts about me video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye!